Good morning everyone. In today's video I will show you how you can quickly change uh, the ground floor into the first floor that you might need to uh, design into uh, your set of drawing. And uh, of course the biggest mistake is to go and uh, you know redraw the first floor uh, from scratch from the beginning. Uh, you should actually start uh, based on having you know a copy of uh, this a ground floor in a separated file or you know like uh, some of uh, architects prefer to uh, have all the first floor and ground floor in the same uh, in the same AutoCAD file it depends on you know the company or what actually you uh, you prefer to work with anyway so the best idea is to have a copy anyway and then have a look or imagine whatever you actually want to design or actually want to keep in the design in, in, in the main uh, in the second floor or in the first floor based on uh, you know the function inside uh, the ground and of course the first thing we might notice is the the whole uh, southern part here the west south uh, is actually has been changed into a balcony and a door has been opened here and the rest uh, is like a, again a <clears throat> just a room here separated that's a bedroom and that's the bath uh, I think that's all became uh, bedrooms it's, it's the same actually it isn't change in the overall here uh, the kitchen and uh, the dining has been switched into one big uh, master bedroom here it's been uh, switched to store something uh, anyway so first you have to get rid of all the layers that actually shown in the in the ground floor only and that goes for of course the fence and probably that hatch uh, let me you know isolate those or hide them so I can just easily uh, you know delete those guys without you know interfering there's no no walkways actually nothing from the landscape is to be shown here so all that had to be gone also this now I can just simply go back to layers and on everything same thing here with a couple of uh, dimension uh, I can also uh, isolate this and probably the stairs and some of the dimension so you know all those to be deleted all those dimension outside probably not this one all the stairs in here I'll just delete and then again an isolate and that's that's the best thing and the quickest thing to be done uh, so nothing changed in here so we need to get rid of this hatch all that to be deleted and again probably it's a good idea to turn off the axis otherwise it's going to be a little bit painful So another fill is in here. And of course you're gonna need a layer, uh, a parapet layer. And put those in it. For some reason I feel there's an extra line in here but anyway I'll just change that into parapets 
is it? No, for some reason it's not. Again, back to parapet. Uh, don't like that. Two lines in here. Get rid of one of them, and that will be a balcony or a roof. I don't know. Depend on depend on what you want to call it. Uh, so this guy and this guy have to fill it, and we need a door, of course. So I'll just copy those. And probably rotate it. Move previous, let's say, uh, 200 mil, and then trim that to get this open. So this is, should be also filleted like that, and that's it basically. We get rid of all that section and we expand that. And again, probably you need to get rid of the hatch in here, the door, and I delete this line by accident, so the door, all those, I think we need to fill it this one and this one and get rid of that. Uh, if I am right, actually no, it's been cancelled, so good, all that to be deleted. And have to extend that in here like this. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Could. So it should go the 2.8 in here. It's, it's actually been, you know, moved that line. I mean, I'm going to ignore that anyway. Uh, it's fitting this one with this one. I don't know. It sounds less crazier than what I draw in the. And that I draw in the <clears throat> in the PDF. That's better, better than that. Anyway, extra line and this dimension also is not required anymore. Let me get rid of the hatch and fill it this. So again, that's another master bedroom. So. That can be a store or dressing. And I'll get rid of that guy and just bring this window probably with all in here related to it. Get rid of this. So now we have that's been done. Uh, probably need to zoom a little bit, and then we have to close this. As such, that's my store, and that reception is also not existed anymore. And uh, let's get rid of that. No more. So I'll just leave uh, I'll just leave a 200 of that. So let's offset that 200 probably. I'll just draw a line 200, and then I go perpendicular to the other wall. And then probably. Another offset of a 200 mil, and those should be filleted. Getting ourselves uh, the new bath. I'm gonna delete that. Taking the door, I know it's too big for a bathroom, but it's okay. And it's 1.8, so 1,800. Good that I didn't trim it. 
can you mirror that? So that's been done. We have to change that into at all. So we'll just do that. Probably we need to rotate R O. And then we need to extend. And that will be just a bedroom or a master bedroom, depend on. It's a master as long as it has a bath in it. So, anyway, different naming. Some text flying here to get rid of it. Also, those beams uh, should be shown now as a continuous so you change them to the parapet or like elevation uh yep, same thing those have to be probably an offset of 200 to make the carrying beam so that's it uh, also this one So almost that's it. We're finishing this job. Uh, nothing been changed much or to the dimension. Probably this one uh, that will stay living in here. Uh, this area is technically the same. So almost we finished in here. So all what we need is uh, to get rid of all you know the things that might get into our way. And you can see that I've done lots of actually mistakes. So it should be finishing those lines. That's wrong. And by that, I should have uh, actually make uh, a wall current. So I'll just make a wall current easier for myself. And then close those gaps. So a wall here is yellow anyway. That's not cool. So I'm closing the gaps. That means those gaps are wrong in the ground floor. That make me really sad. And I need to go back to fix it. This is, I think, just because it's not been drawn basically from AutoCAD, but rather I imported from Revit. But anyway. It won't take much to fix this. So that's it, almost done, done, now we are gonna go to the hatch, activating the hatch layer, and then I can just go etch and you know, pick a point or uh, actually match property to take the property of the origin here, okay, so that's wrong, we have to wait for it, okay. What about now? Yep. It wasn't showing all the boundaries of the object, that's why it gives us an error message. So, almost done, except for this one. How about now? Yep. Now it's working. Uh, now I have to activate all the off layer and double check my work quickly and uh, eventually it's look like it's working perfectly probably we need a couple of dimension for the extra or for the new things the new rooms that we changed uh, but that it's basically thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye